Well, hello everyone. Good evening. This is Pamela Church and I'm in Castle Rock, Colorado. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm putting together this webinar for you tonight because um, there's a lot of value that Bruce and I have gotten over the last 30 days and we don't want to wait any longer to get the information out to uh, fellow network marketers and fellow network marketers who are motivated, who take action, and who are still getting frustrated in their business because maybe you're like us and you don't feel like it's growing fast enough. Now we all know we have the most incredible products in the world through these companies of network marketing, right? And when we bring in new distributors to our business and they're excited too, um, the one thing that stops us in our tracks is when they get um, a rejection from a friend and family member who's on the list that we've asked them to make out and to introduce the information to. So Bruce and I, as you know, probably have been in network marketing for several years. Our first um, network marketing company success, we built about a million dollar business in 10 months. The, the organization did really well, except the, the bigger it got, the more we worked. The team would go up and down as far as who would stick with the business and who would get out of the business. It was quite the roller coaster, but as we've all heard is it's a numbers game, right? And to keep going and to don't quit. And I know that if you're on this webinar, you're like us. You're not quitters. You're motivated and you're intelligent and you're probably intuitively knowing there's something missing. <laughs> well, you all know uh, Bruce and I are here tonight to teach you how to increase your network big marketing business online. And before I go into that part, um, this is going to run about 30 minutes. I'm going to cover two very important um, aspects of online with you tonight to help you understand really and lay the groundwork from uh, about where we're headed with this. Because first of all, you've got to have an understanding and the correct expectations of what this is before we can teach it to you. And then before I do that, what I want to do is tell you about how I found out about this. Um, Bruce and I have been, you know, in network marketing for five years. He uh, came out of the corporate world as an executive about three years ago, where we're fully committed to being network marketers because we saw the residual income. We know that we were told we could have financial freedom, and and it, in our fifties, we were thinking, "Wow, this sounds great! Residual income. Why didn't we think of this?" And we understood that now we could possibly retire at a younger age and not have to work forever. <laughs> and that's, you know, it was a stepping stone for us to, to understand these, these philosophies and, and these goals that we were now setting for ourselves as being different. Um, and it's exciting because the products that we were coming across were incredible and, and they're life-changing, right? But when we actually started building, um, we, we were having a great time. Uh, the company went through some ups and downs and we actually switched companies to the one that we're with now. And uh, still another great product. But I'll tell you, as Bruce and I continued, I just kept being drawn to realizing I'm just going to have to invest more in personal growth because we felt like the harder and harder we worked, the less time that we would have doing the things that we really wanted to do. And we were learning from people within the network marketing industry who were some of the best. As a matter of fact, in uh, May of this, um, this summer, we spent another uh, small group private time with Eric Worre and his wife Marina, and we were learning, you know, all of the ins and outs of prospecting from them. And I mean, they're the best of the best, right? I mean, look at them. Look how successful they are. Look how many followers they have. So we did what it took, and we invested on ourselves, and we spent time with people like Eric Worre. We spent time listening to recordings from Ray Higdon and reading blogs and just really, really doing our best to learn what we needed to learn, right? And I'm sure many of you are in the same boat of feeling like, hey, I'm doing everything. I'm doing what they tell me, but aren't you feeling kind of stuck? <laughs> well, that's why we're doing this webinar tonight. So here's how our journey began. Uh, just a, a little over 30 days ago, um, with this mindset of, okay, I'm going to learn this and we're not quitting, I was on the internet and just kind of going through Facebook when I run ran across this lady's uh, post in my newsfeed.
Little did I know she was actually an affiliate marketer, not just a network marketer, and she was repping products for several different uh, companies. But what she put in the newsfeed caught my eye because it was very subtle. She put out there a note to her friends on her personal page that said, Hey, guys. Um, please um, just know that this is my personal page, and we're only gonna we're not gonna post business here. We're only gonna post information, you know, that's more social. But I know many of you are on my personal page, and you met me through business. So, if any of you here would like to talk business, you're welcome to hop over to my fan page. And in that post, she had put her link to her fan page. Well, I was very curious about what she was doing, so I hopped over to her fan page. And there's where I came across a video that she had posted with she and her husband, Bill. And they it was a, a video where they talked about, um, you know, not really liking doing home meetings, how they were not liking the part where you teach people to make a list and contact all your friends and family. And she was really talking about prospecting and how much she disliked it and how that they found a better way, which was attraction marketing, which I'm going to go into further here tonight. But in order to set the stage for you, there's one other thing I want to share. On Michelle's video, she um, said enough information to get my curiosity up to check into the company that she had posted a link to. So I clicked on this link and it was a very, um, it was a coaching session. It was an educational product where I went through several steps and I learned what she knew. I learned what I didn't know. I learned what I'm hoping that you all here tonight can learn along with Bruce and me that we didn't know. And this is something very exciting, and I believe this is where we're going to add value to our network marketing team tonight. So I've spent the last 30 days uh, investing in myself, and Bruce has too. I actually went to a live event uh, with online marketers. This is uh, Tim Irway and Fernie Sabalos. These guys are with a company that... Uh, teaches uh, network marketers how to attract their customers versus hunting them down. I also met, this was one of my coaches um, in the process of learning online marketing. He and I are very good friends to this day. He comes from the higher education background. He was uh, making six figures and he is now um, in online marketing uh, uh, using this as an avenue to increase his business online. And then this is uh, Michelle's husband, Bill Piscoscolito. He's an excellent content writer. So I just show you these pictures just to let you know that I've been investing in myself some, and that's why I'm so excited, optimistic, and hopeful about what I have to share with you tonight. Because these people have five to six years of experience each. They all make seven-figure seven incomes, and um, they are, they're adding more value to my life than I could have ever dreamed. So I love this quote. It says, strive not to be a success, but rather to be of value. And I remember in my network marketing journey, telling one of my friends one time, you know, I just want to figure out a way to add value to people's lives. And, and this person said, well, you are valuable. And I thought, oh, there's just something missing with that. I couldn't figure out what it is. So now it's all coming full circle. And what I'm learning is prospecting versus attraction marketing and what that means. And this is what I want to start sharing with you so that you can position yourself better in your business, in your network marketing business, or in your life to attract people to have uh, to, to uh, want what you have and to buy from you versus playing the numbers game and talking to everybody within three feet, which can get very stressful and hard and difficult on both parties. And so I didn't know what I didn't know. And I'd heard about attraction marketing. And it's not woo-woo like you're thinking. There's a lot of information out there about attraction marketing, but that's not what we're going to talk about tonight. Okay, so there are two things that we're going to discuss tonight to get you started on the path of this journey that's going to increase your business online. Okay, and th those two things we're going to be talking about over the next 20 minutes. The first one is branding, and the second one is your avatar. Okay, so branding is where it all starts. This is how you get started online. And the reason I want to talk about branding tonight is this is not something I learned about till later on in the process, but it's very, very important. 
And branding is usually what we think of when we join our network marketing company. We have an incredible product. So we go out and we start telling people about it with a lot of enthusiasm. And it's, it's you know, not surprising we do that because these products that we have are life-changing. A lot of them are really, uh, seem like miraculous products, right? So we get all excited and we contact our list of friends and family and we have our business partners do the same thing. But what we find is when some of our business partners come in and they're enthusiastic, they get rejection and it takes them out of the game. They just cannot do what we're doing. And there's a huge learning curve. And that learning curve that they're going through is hard for them to see through the smoke and to see, uh, to begin with the end in mind. Because once you experience that type of rejection and it's not about your product, um, it's hard to keep going, right? So what do I mean by brand? Okay, so we have our companies with the company name and the product and typically we'll go out and we'll promote that. But really what we want to do is we want to brand ourselves. This is what I've learned from business um, owners who are really running a true business and having huge success financially, thereby gaining time freedom. Not that, and by the way, I just want to make note here to you all, it's not all about the money for us. And I know that we hear this from other people who are making, you know, millions of dollars or whatever. And I just want to encourage you all that we're not all about the money. We're about running a successful business where we can help a lot of people get what they want, which a lot of it's time with their family, you know, your dreams, whatever those might be, philanthropic. But when you brand yourself, okay, your brand is going to be a picture of those things. Your brand is who you are. There's three things. It's who you are, who you represent. What do you represent? So, for instance, um, I know when people look at me, they probably think I represent, a, you know, a homeschool mom who feels that teaching, raising their children uh, um, with a lot of thought and a lot of sacrifice is important. And I also brand myself in certain colors. I mean, I love the color turquoise, and I love the color orange. I'm a summer girl. I also brand myself, people know me as an outdoorsy person, someone that loves horses, and someone that is a hard worker. So this is my brand. And then along with that brand, um, I promote to people, you know, um, health, okay? I'm all about health. And in promoting about health, I'm able to brand myself as being knowledgeable in that area, being knowledgeable about um, hiking or horsemanship or homeschooling, okay? So that's really my brand. And you all want to have your own brand versus branding your company. And the reason that we need to know this is important is because companies come and go. And I'm not saying the company you're with is going to come and go. What I'm saying is this is just reality. No one has a crystal ball. So why not brand ourselves? We're putting a cor a forth all the effort to brand ourselves and have people know, like, and trust us. All right? So that when they know, like, and trust you and your brand, they're going to buy from you. And they're going to buy from you more than once. They're going to buy maybe different things from you. They're going to buy ideas. They're going to buy products. So that's why you want to brand yourself and really think about what, what do I stand for? Another part of branding is also what you are against, believe it or not, because this kind of sets us apart, right? So not getting into politics or religion or anything like that, but there are things out there, especially in the health arena, that we can talk about that we're against. For instance, maybe we're against uh, vaccinations. You know, we take a strong stand against that. Maybe we're against um, any foods that aren't organic. Maybe we're against GMO. Okay, when you are against things like that, let people know and brand yourself. Now, you hear me talking about branding. So where do we do this branding? Well, we're going to do it, you know, online, of course, maybe on some type of social media. But that's not what I'm going to go over here with today. But I am going to say... Um, after this particular video, there will be two more videos. So just stay tuned at the end and I'll explain that. that. So what do you stand for? What are you against? And be very um, in, uh, intentional about that. Now, when you're branding yourself, you also want to know your audience and who you're talking to. So that when you're posting about who you are, 
you can help be related. You can be relatable to them by speaking about what their fears and problems and pains may be. Okay, so that's that's pretty much what a brand is. And when we get done with this, these slides and I go into the avatar, I'm going to show you what that actually looks like on a fa on our Facebook page. Okay, so the next thing, this is kind of a funny picture. This is me branding myself. Um, I've gone out, found some software. Instead of putting my company name, there's my face. <laughs> Thought that was fun. Anyway, the second thing we want to talk about, very, very important, is your avatar. Now, I'm sure many of you out there have heard of target marketing, right? So what do you think of when you think of target marketing? You're probably thinking pretty general, such as, well, I'm thinking about people who want to be healthy, they're sick and tired of eating food with chemicals in it, and they have a family, and they live in the United States. Okay, that's kind of a target market for um, the products that we might have if they're health products. Now, as far as an avatar goes, what that is, is I never, I didn't even know what it was till recently, and I had heard about a movie called The Avatar or something like that. <laughs> but what an avatar is is a specific market very specific. So this is what you're going to want to focus on is who is your avatar? Your avatar is going to be your dream customer, your dream business partner, okay? And so let's break that down. By being specific, I mean instead of an age range, for example, we want to say a specific age. Instead of, you know, you want to say a specific demographic that they live in or a specific profession that they're in. So let me give you an example of my avatar. And I'm just going to give you a, a, a part of an example of who she is. She's a 51-year-old lady who's very motivated, loves her family, and um, is looking for a way to earn extra income, even though she's very involved in being a mom and being a wife and um, making sure that her teenager gets the proper attention during the teenage years. She loves to have a purpose, and she loves the idea of residual income, but she's a bit frustrated with network marketing right now because she's putting all this time and effort in and things are just not working out the way that she thought and she feels like she's working harder and harder with less time for her family. She is making some income and she sees where residual income is important, but she knows intuitively there's got to be something different and she's starting to be drawn to the online um, world. And the reason is, is she really wants to increase her income because she's tired of having her husband work at the office or travel all the time, okay? And she wants to bring him home. So, so you hear there where I'm developing a very specific person. And so that's what I want to encourage you all to do is come up with your avatar, okay? And these are just a few of the things that you want to think about when you're describing your avatar. And so what, you, what you'll want to do is write out their age and their gender and their mar marital status. You can even put their, you know, their specific profession. Okay, I said corporate world, her husband in the corporate world. But I did describe her as being a network marketer. You might want to put their income range, you know, uh, not their range, their specific income. I actually accidentally put range there. So my avatar is making, you know, about, uh, you know, almost six figures staying at home as um, working as a network marketer right now but looking to increase her, her business there. Um, right, list their hobbies, okay? So this is what I want you to do for homework because we're going to be having two more webinars. And in order for you to um, have a really great experience with our next webinar where I'm going to teach you how to attract people online, I'm going to have you first write down your brand, you know, write out who you are, what you represent, what you don't represent. And then also, I want you to write out your avatar's story. And if you don't want to make it into story form, that's okay. But it's really kind of fun when you write out your avatar's story. And um, it turns it into a real person. And the reason why this is really in, uh, important, that you get very specific on who you're targeting, is because when you start... Uh, putting information out there, content out there to attract people to engage with you, say on Facebook or Twitter or even putting photos on Instagram or Pinterest, okay? 
you want to do it intentionally. You want to do it with the intentions that you're, you're trying to get your avatar's attention because you have something incredible for them, you know, um, that you're not going to share with them. You're not going to try to sell them right now. You just want to add value to their life. And you're going to add value to their life by posting inspirational things, your lifestyle photos, your lifestyle information, articles that they can relate to, all being congruent with your product, your company, of course. And so, for instance, if you have your health product, you'll be putting articles about the, out there about our food and how it's poison. <laughs> or you're going to be putting articles out there about how, you know, GMO is in everything. Um, pretty much everything, not everything. You're going to be putting inspirational quotes in there about, hey, get up today, keep going, you know, and there's somebody out there that wants to hear your story. <laughs> and then you'll put your lifestyle information out there based on who your avatar is. For me, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to show them, listen, I'm 51, but I'm very active. See, look at me hiking. Look at me on my horses. Look at me with my son. I'm very, very active, and it's keeping me young. So, anyway, I'm kind of painting this picture. So, I would like you to do that branding, your avatar story, and then the third thing and the last thing is pick up The 4-Hour Work Week. It's a book by Tim Ferriss. Completely changed my mindset last month. It is amazing. Uh, it really teaches you how to leverage your time. And as network marketers, that's one of our goals, right? Is to network, is to leverage our time by building a team, a big team, doing all the things that we're doing so we don't do all the work. All right. Well, this prospecting versus attraction marketing is really going to help you leverage your time. Prospecting is a bit on the old school. Okay, so I'm going to share with you something right now before I go on. Um, you know, I, I go back to investing, uh, Bruce and I investing in ourselves. And like I said, I was at an Eric Worre event at the beginning of the summer. And what was very interesting about this three-day intensive event, it was called a, your breakthrough intensive. There were two women there who were very, probably early 30s, and they had been with their network marketing company for two years. And they were both making $70,000 plus a month each. And I watched them during this entire meeting, and a lot of the time they were working on their laptops. <laughs> and what I found out was they were very successful online. That's where they did all their business was Facebook. So I was actually being shown um, and drawn into network marketing at the beginning of the summer. And so when I found Michelle's post in the news feed, and I was drawn into where she took me on the journey. Um, it's, it's just been an amazing thing to look back at that. And so now today, you all are getting to hear kind of the path. You're getting to see the beginning of your path in this. And I'm here to say, if you think about all of these network marketers who are very, very successful, I guarantee you they're doing online marketing. Look at Ray Higdon, Eric Worre. Um, any of these people, Todd Falcone, who promote traditional prospecting, they're actually attracting you to them. They're attracting you to come and hear from them how to do prospect, how to prospect, how to go out and get leads, right? Get leads, get leads, make your list. Well, what, what they're not telling you is how they're doing it, <laughs> which is online attraction marketing. So it's kind of interesting, those of you who are watching this recording right now. So that's what I want for you all. I want to help you all understand that your brand and your avatar is going to help attract the right, pe the right people who are looking for what you have. And you know what? If there are some people that get offended about what you talk about, um, those people aren't going to buy from you anyway. So now let's do something fun. I'm going to take you over. This is... Uh, <laughs> This is just what I love right now, is being able to take my laptop and go anywhere. Network marketing, I was having to go to meetups, take time away from homeschooling, figure out during the week when I was going to be able to get out and meet people. And that means taking a shower, making sure I put on my makeup every day, 
get dressed, dress decent, go out, and there's usually three, four hours gone in my day. So with this, internet marketing, which is what we're doing right now, this is just my personal fan page you see here. I'm actually on uh, a quick hike. I said, hey, Bruce, let's, let's pack up and go up in the mountains. It's fall. Let's get out of here. we got to see the colors. We missed it all summer. We were busy network marketing, you know, taking everybody, keeping everybody engaged, and it was just a blast. We hiked in the day, and I worked a little bit during the day, and we hike again. And so this is my personal page, all right, which you all probably see, and we're just, you know, just checking messages on there. So the next thing I want to take you to that's really kind of fun is our um, Facebook page. So this is what I want to show you so that you can begin with the end in mind. And you have begun. You've taken the first step by being on this, this recorded webinar. And here you go. Here you will look. And you all on this webinar, some of you may know what company I'm with. Some of you may not. But if you look, it says Food Fit Family. This is kind of our brand. And we actually have two fan pages. But this one is one I wanted to show you because this is more about our product. And I believe it's going to be more relatable to those of you on this particular recording than our other fan page. But if you look here, what we're doing is, you know, we have picture, pictures of ourselves, um, you know, where people can get to know us. And then I put inspirational and funny things on here. I mean, I'm very much about um, eating healthy. And <laughs> you can see that um, I put posts on here that may rub some people wrong. Um, I put educational stuff on here. This post right here is about anorexia for Halloween. All of this stuff is very congruent to the products that we have that we market. But you won't see anywhere uh, on here where I'm advertising those. Because this is just a page where I would like people to get to know, like, and trust me. Trust us. So over in this left side, you can see we have 553 likes, 133 this week. And what's interesting is we knew none of these people just until about four days ago. And you're probably wondering, wow, how did you do that? <laughs> so this is what I'm excited about. Once you get your brand and your avatar, you're going to be able to go out and create your own fan page with our help. We're going to take you through a step-by-step -step process, a very effective process, to setting up your fan page to help you increase and attract people to what you have. Attract them to you. And um, down here you'll see I have a video. Uh, this is a video where you know I just help people get to know me. It's a very short video. And, um, you know, people can click here and, and listen to that. And uh, there's also, and I'll just bring it up for a second. You can see over Hello, here, I'm, I'm actually just in my car. Water. People can kind of get to know me here. And I kind of say what, you know, who I am. I don't say anything about uh, my company. But I do have right here a link that goes to another page. And that page is where, you know, they can choose to go or not to learn um, about things that I use to actually stay healthy. Okay, so let me see if I can get this to close out. It's not, there we go, so we're back. So um, there are, you know, ways for people to find our company, but quite frankly, network marketing companies don't have very good web pages for getting people to go on and be persuaded to buy what's, what's there. So that's why you really want to work, put the time and effort in to build your fan base first before you really promote anything because you want them to click knowing that you're going to have great information and they're going to trust that they probably want to look at what you have after all the, the posts that you put out there and the inspiration and the lifestyle that you live. So I hope this has been a valuable start uh, for you to understand what online marketing is and it's really attraction marketing and how it kind of works. This is a very skim the surface webinar, but I feel it's super, super important for you to have that groundwork laid before we move on. So what I would like to do is, is wrap up and just remind you that our next webinar, I will be taking you through a step-by-step -step process of setting up your own fan page and then our third webinar is going to be how do you drive people to your fan page. And that is a secret that nobody's talking about except for 
Uh, even the, the people who are successful in network marketing, they're not talking about it. You have to really dig. So I'm super, super excited, and Bruce is too, to be able to share this with you and be the ones to get to do it. So thank you so much, and I, you know, I ask you to please, you know, respond uh, to us through, you know, returning the email if you like, and just saying, you know, if you got value from this, or you can even, uh, you know, visit our fan page if you like. the uh, The address, if you look up here, is actually www.facebook.com food fit families. Um, I don't believe you need this part. Let me see to get there. Okay, if you just put this in, yeah, it'll get you there. So we can teach you how to have a link like this and to make it a very professional yet fun page that's going to attract hundreds and thousands of people. Because you can see that we've attracted already quite a few just in, in just a matter of days. So anyway, we're excited. And please, um, you know, I hope if you find value in this, let us know. If you have questions, please reach out to us. We are happy to, you know, help you in any way that we can. And uh, you all, we will be talking with you soon. Thank you and take care. And until next webinar, we will see you then.